What? Wait, what? What? Wait, what? It's recording? What's up guys? It's Schliff, and welcome to another Minecraft video, and today, you might have noticed that, yes, I did make it home safe. It actually took me quite a long time to get home, though. I was kind of lost. I probably should have brought my map, um, my map in here. And yes, I did sort through my items when I got back. I put my valuables in here, my ender pearl diamonds, and my emeralds. And I did sort through some of my stuff down here as well, in the chest. And also, you might notice that instead of the signs, which labeled the chests that I have, I put item frames with items in there. So now, it's more visual, and I, I think it kind of looks cool. So, yep, there is that. Also, when I got back, I decided to kind of set up a little mine shaft right here. I think it kind of looks cool. Down here, actually, it does lead to a cave. I did continue digging down here, and actually, I did find quite a big cave. I went down there and kind of lit it up. I didn't mine anything yet, though, so that's something we can do in this episode. But what I mainly wanted to do in this episode is um, try to find some obsidian, because now we have diamonds, so we can make a diamond pickaxe, and we can mine obsidian. So that will be our first order of business. I will take five of these diamonds... And I will make, guys, this is the moment of truth. This is our first diamond tool. Are you ready for this? One, two, three, diamond pickaxe. All right, we did it. I'm actually going to not equip it, though, because my diamond tools are always very special to me, and I want them to be saved for when I really need them. So also, I'm going to go ahead and make a diamond sword, um, because... This will eventually be useful too, but I'm actually going to leave that here because, again, I want that, I just, I need to save that. It just, I don't know, it's something I like to do. Save up my diamond tools, I just don't want to wear down them, and I want to use them when I really need to. So right now, I'm not going to use them. You might have also noticed that I have a ton of leather with me, and that is because on my way back, there were just so many cows, and... How can you resist killing just that, in, there's like an entire field of cows. I just couldn't resist killing every one of them. So, I killed all them, got all this leather, and what we're going to do is actually make bookshelves with this leather. And because I want to start setting up an enchantment table. So, before we go and try to find obsidian, I'm going to go ahead and make some bookshelves. Because you can't have a good enchantment table without bookshelves. So, I'll take the sugar canes and I'll make some paper. Making bookshelves is kind of a tedious task because, um, oh wait, that's not how you make paper. Well, because you got to make paper, which is used to make books, which is used to make bookshelves. So, yeah. Wait, what am I doing? I don't even remember how to do this. Okay, one leather and three papers is a book. So let's make as many as we possibly can, which looks like it will be 17 books. That's a good start. And then... We might actually have to go get some more wood at some point, but for now, it should be okay. So, bookshelf, and I'll try to sort these evenly. Um, it's five bookshelves, which really isn't a lot. So, we're going to need to get some more sugar canes before we can really make up a good area to enchant with plentiful bookshelves, which we can use for enchantment purposes, and I do want to save that diamond sword until I can enchant it, because only then, oops, <laughs> I just placed down a bucket of water. Good thing Minecraft physics say that if you accidentally spill a bucket of water everywhere, you can just pick up that water back up, because that makes perfect sense. But anyways, we got some more sugar canes, not very many, but what can you do? That's 27 more papers. Um, let's see if we can make... We can make nine books, so now we have eleven. And that would give us three more bookshelves, but I do not have enough wood. I think I have more in here. I have some birch wood in here. And yeah, we kind of are running out of wood a bit. So that will probably be something maybe the next episode that we'll have to do. I won't worry about it now, though. 
Um, where did all my books go? Oh, I just dropped them on the ground. I just throw books on the ground because I'm that kind of person. Oops. Okay. Um, okay, so that's eight bookshelves. Um, that's probably all we're gonna have to, that's probably all we can make now. So, let's just go and put those up here. This is where I was gonna set up my enchanting area. I guess I'll put it here. I kinda like to make more of a diagonal one. So, like an enchantment table could go here, or something like that. So, let's see, we're gonna want bookshelf here. Here, bookshelf there, 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 and then we'll kind of bring it out over in this area too. Maybe bring it in a bit, and our enchantment table can go like right here or something, and it will look quite spiffy. So those bookshelves look quite nice there. Right now they're only decoration, but soon they shall fill an enchantment table full of the knowledge we need to properly enchant our diamond tools. So, yep. Yep, see diddle who's. Okay. Yeah, now we're going to go into the mines and find some obsidian. And eventually, one of my long-term goals, which won't happen for quite some time, is I kind of want to set up a minecart system that goes down here, because that could look kind of cool and be kind of fun, so, you wouldn't, so we wouldn't have to just walk down all these stairs to get to the mine. But hopefully there aren't a lot of mobs there, because I did light it up. So hopefully they don't spawn, and hopefully I can get down there safely. I had some quite some trouble trying to clear this place out. I also hope I don't leave, lose my space. But anyway, here's the cave. I lit it up. I didn't mine anything yet, though. So I suppose we can go ahead and mine some stuff. But really, our main goal is to find a lava lake so we can get some obsidian. And there's lapis here, which is kind of useless. But anyways, yeah, we're going to want some obsidian. That is going to be our main goal with this mining adventure. Um, yeah, more iron. I saw a zombie down there, which can't be good. But, you know, it's just a zombie. Um, yep, it's darker down here. I have not explored this area. And there's a zombie. I shall kill you now. Cause, oh, there's lava. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so this won't even be as hard as I thought. As long as nothing sneaks up behind us and pushes us in the lava or something. That will not be good. But anyway, let us clear out this lava. And there we have it, guys. It's some nicely farmed obsidian. I'll leave a little bit of lava there so it's still light, so we don't have to put torches down. But, yep, obsidian, guys. So, I know it takes forever to mine, so I might just speed this part up. And so you guys won't have to watch the painstaking process of mining obsidian. So, I shall see you guys once all of this stuff is mined. Okay guys, so that is 17 pieces of obsidian, which is definitely enough to make an enchantment table. As well as making eventually another portal, which will be probably something we also do in the next episode. Maybe next episode will be completely devoted to exploring the nether, and that could be kind of fun. So, yep, we've got our obsidian, and now I guess we should start heading to the surface, which, you know, that's what a smart person would do, but if you're not smart like me, you would just continue exploring and swim up waterfalls like this and find what you can find. And, yeah, there's a lot of gold here, which is kind of interesting. But, you know, I shall take this gold. Thank you very much. And, yep, now we should probably start heading to the surface. I won't be stupid this time. We'll find our exit and we shall go up it. Good thing I put down torches so I know the way back. And there's also tons of coal, which I'm not really bothering with, but I think it's up here. Maybe not because there's gold that I haven't gotten. So yeah, I'm going to just find where I came out of because I'm really not in the mood to go on another mining trip. That was the last episode and we all know how badly that almost ended, so... Yeah, why am I so bad with directions? I really should have remembered where I came out of. Um, it's not down here. This is where I just was. So I've gone in a circle. And that's not good. So, oh my god, where? Oh, there it is, okay. 
I found it. And I thought I was doomed for a second. Haha, <laughs> silly me. <laughs> I'm so silly. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll just cut away till I get back up there. Okay, so I'm back up. And it's my time, so let us just run back to the house. Why did I close that? Okay. Always keep that open. Which really defeats the purpose of it. But, you know what? It looks nice. So let's go sleepy sleeps. I said sleepy sleeps. What? Monsters? <gasps> That's not good. Do we have to go out and kill some things? Um, sleepy, I still can't sleepy sleeps. Hmm. You know what? Who cares about sleeping? We don't need to sleep. Okay. So, yeah, we've got our obsidian, so let's go ahead and make our enchantment table. Um, we need our diamonds for that. We have just enough diamonds to make one diamond pickaxe, one diamond sword, and an enchantment table. So let's see if I remember how to do this. It's a book two diamonds I think right there and then obsidian there there and there and yeah there's our enchantment table with a magical red cloth over it that I guess somehow appeared right there when we built it but we certainly didn't put that there so anyways let us plonk this down I guess hmm what's a good spot for it right there and then yeah yeah this is a better spot for it so now I can reach all the bookshelves and it looks quite nice. Let's just see how many levels I can enchant with these bookshelves. 16 looks like the highest. So we can actually wait until we can build more bookshelves before we enchant anything. So I want to put a nice level 30 enchantment on my nifty new diamond sword here. And then we can slaughter everything with it quite easily. So, yep, that will be nice and fun when we can finally do that. And so now, really, all that's left to do with all this obsidian is to build a nether portal. And I'm just going to smelt some stuff, because, you know, smelting. But yeah, that will definitely do in the next episode. So, I am looking forward to that. It should be nice. It should be an interesting experience. We might wait until we, want, until we can fully enchant our diamond sword before we go into the nether, so we stand some chance. And... We just have to wait for these sugar canes to grow. So, okay, then now there's a creeper in my farm. That's just great. Okay. But anyway, so yeah, I might off camera, I might just go and gather more sugar canes, maybe collect more wood, and build up the enchantment area. So it will be all nice and cool, and I can build bookshelves around it. So I'll do that off screen, and then the next episode, we can explore the nether and maybe get ourselves killed, but maybe get ourselves killed. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!